You see, I often look after and care for little baby marsupials. Yeah, ones that are orphans, one that mums can't look after. And today, I have this little girl here. Let's get her out for you and show you. Hey, sweetie. Keep it down my shirt most of the day. There we go. It's a koala. Hoping that this girl pulls through. And if she does pull through, she's going to probably be in a few of my videos, because she'll probably be clinging to me. I have her stuck to me most of the day. She's usually down in the front of my shirt. Later on when she gets bigger, she'll probably be in a bag again, very close to my body, just like she's in mum's pouch. Um, I'll probably have to move her away when I handle venomous snakes or go in with Tasmanian devils, anywhere that's too hazardous for her, but all the times when I'm not doing anything too dangerous, she's going to be with me. And she has a very special low lactose milk. Special koala milk. And now she's got to get used to me giving her bigger feeds oh, every couple of hours. Of course, this has left me really tired, worn out, as you can imagine. Oh. <sighs> really tiring looking after these guys. It's like having another baby in the house. But they're worth it. And it's one of the things about looking after wildlife. When you care, you look after a wildlife, you nurture it, you spend sleepless nights looking after it. What does that tell people about the wildlife? It says that it's worth looking after. It's precious wildlife and worth looking after. This little one looks like a teddy bear. Mm -hmm. <sighs> a lot of people think that uh, caring and looking after an orphan baby will be a lot of fun. Some people sort of think it's like having a pet or something like that. Uh, I've never really seen wildlife as pets. Um, they're a responsibility. They're something that you care for, you look after. This morning I found a little baby koala that I was caring for. I found that she died overnight. Uh, it's one of the hardest things, you see, caring for wildlife. Often there's so much heartache in it. At the moment I feel heartbroken. I feel gutted. I feel depressed. And, you know, really sad. And, you know, the only real comfort I have is that I know that I did the best I possibly could. And that's all we ever do as wildlife carers. All we ever really try and do is give an animal a chance where it would have no chance. Uh, the situation was that baby was going to die if I didn't step in. I did my best, and unfortunately it still died. That's all we can do.